Shoo! Welcome back to another episode, everyone. My name is Jared, and this is Cali Cruising. We do everything outdoors, and this week we are going camping. Coming back to my roots here, not backpacking or anything, just staying at a campground, meeting up with some friends from college and after college. And, um, oops, sorry about that. Yeah, I'm just meeting up with some friends from college and some friends that I met after college. And uh, yeah, should be a fun time. Of course, I started with a little bump, forgot my memory card. So I'm working on my GoPro memory card in my camera. Um, 32 gigs versus 128, so I gotta be efficient here. I'm gonna go ahead and drive to my campground. It's near Big Bear, so you gotta stay tuned. Thanks for coming Del Taco. Hello, how you doing tonight? Thank you, I'm Doing well, thanks. Could I get um, two of the um, chicken crunch burritos? And then a Chipotle chicken roller. And one value crunchy and one value soft of the regular taco. And that'll be it. Thank you very much. All right, getting some tacos here on the road. Just a quick little stop at the DT. One hour later. All right, guys, we made it to our campsite. We're here at Heart Bar Campground. We're in the uh, San Bernardino National Forest. We're just south of Big Bear Lake and the mountain area There's actually a lot of dispersed camping in this area, but we like to do a campfire So we just you know suck it up and pay the fee. So uh, We're about to get our tent set up So um, it's gonna be pretty cool. We're gonna get a campfire going and just have a nice little night It's Friday night, so we still got all of tomorrow and then Sunday, so you gotta stay tuned. All right, here we are. Give you a little tour of the truck. So, I actually brought my fridge, so I'm gonna be powering it with my deep cycle battery. I got this seven gallon Aquatainer. This thing is awesome. Got my tackle, some chairs. Got all my camping gear, a bunch of firewood. So, yeah, got all the goods. Homie's oh, here, <laughs> setting up the hotel. <laughs> we, got, we got the, the plaza right here. <laughs> do, you, do, do I need reservations, or am yeah, I allowed to yeah, just no, um, drop in? Yeah, no, you need a reservation. Oh, okay, <laughs> well. <laughs> We're booked until, until next year. <laughs> Good thing I brought my own accommodations. <laughs> I got my little two-person tent. Okay, that's their tent. This is my tent. <laughs> All right, got my tent up here. Got it up in no time flat. Look how roomy it is. This thing is giant. Bed's gonna go right here. I get this tent all to myself. Can't beat it. All right, here's my hair pack. I got a nice little foot pump for it. Just get your foot. You got a dirty shoe. All right, got my mattress inflated. I have the REI Stratus, just the regular. I should have got the long, and something I've learned over the last few years is don't overinflate your pad, because as you roll around, you want a little bit of room, because when you put your weight on it, it's gonna distribute. Now I have my pillow. This is a Cetasana Eros. I had a different pillow, and it actually started leaking, so this is the second air pillow, and this one's been solid. It actually has like a nice soft cotton felt side and then the other side is a microfiber type so it's a little bit cooler. This side's a little bit warmer so depending on the time of year. And what you have is you have a two series valve. This is to let the air out so I'll go ahead and close it. And then this other one is to inflate so I'll go ahead and pop this one open. <laughs> Excuse the noisy neighbors. Go ahead and inflate this. <laughs> so same thing, I like to leave a decent amount of air out. That way, when you're actually using it, it's nice and comfortable. You don't want a really stiff pillow. So, okay, I'll go there, set up the sleeping bag, and that's it. So, 
tuck the pillow in the little hood here. Let's test it out. Oh, man. Oh. oh, that's comfortable. Yeah, leave the air slightly out. Makes a huge difference. I'm not on the ground, but I'm just like hovering above it. So yeah, we're gonna have campfire in a bit and just hang out, so it's gonna be fun. What's up guys? So I got my tent and sleep system set up. So now we're gonna start a fire. So believe it or not, I actually don't really bring lighter fluid or anything like that. I'm pretty old school. I just use a cotton ball and a little Vaseline, or in this case, just generic petroleum jelly. So I got a bag of cotton balls, 300, and a tub of petroleum jelly. Together, they're probably like maybe four bucks at the most and this will literally light fires for the rest of the year if not a couple years to come so put some in a bag like this and what I do is I pop this open and I take the balls like this and I just hold them in the bag and just do a nice little scoop put that in the bag grab some more Another small handful in the bag. Repeat the process. So, go ahead and take the balls and give them a nice little scoop. Use your fingers, use the plastic baggie. Okay, nice. Then, take a little bit more scoop with your fingers. Get the air out of the bag. And give it nice little smushers. Okay, and that's it. I'm just gonna do my classic Lincoln log. Get a couple sticks going each way. Now all I do is take one of these cotton balls, you want to rip it up a little bit, a couple pieces, like this, A few minutes later. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> All right, gang. We're gonna switch it up. I'm gonna show you how to make a drink. <laughs> so this is what I call the Malibu special. So Malibu's. start with some uh, prune Yours. juice. Dang. <laughs> Very generous. <laughs> this is only twenty percent. Okay. So you get that. You get a little aid, which is Gator. <laughs> I knew that would get you. And then you get some woke soda. Woke cola as we call it. But it is delicious. Shasta just ain't the same. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> okay, Jerry, what do you name this drink? The Malibu special. <laughs> Malibu. <laughs> Malibu. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Oh, yeah. That's good. All right, update for you guys. It's about 1 a.m. It's really late, so just freshen up a little. Gonna get some sleep here. It's pretty cold, about 40 degrees, maybe. So. Try to wake up early and do some fishing tomorrow, so it's going to be fun. The next day.
good morning guys made it through the night it was definitely a little bit chilly but not too bad um, my phone died because uh, I guess I mean I had signal but it must have been searching too so recharging that not sure what time it is right around like 8 because I checked it and it was like 7 15 and then it died so yeah I'm gonna get ready here and have some tea or something and some breakfast I forgot what my friends brought so you guys stay tuned Yup. Yeah. All right, water's almost ready for the tea. Doing a mix of black and green tea here. It's gonna be great. All right, we got our breakfast here. Nice little simple breakfast, some English muffins with peanut butter and fruit. Oh. Jenks Lake, here we come. All right, we're hiking to a lake off the main road. Oh, bark beetles here. <laughs> we found some water, look at that nice little creek. How about that? Alright, we made it to the lake here. At first I thought it was dry, but it's actually got a decent amount of water. Pretty nice dock right here. The fishing dock is straight, packed. We're gonna walk over here to the beach. And I'm gonna try to see if I can get like a far cast out. Put like a decent weight on my line. And try to get to the middle of the lake. Try to catch a fish, so you gotta stay tuned. Alright. Here fishing. These kids over here are catching fish like crazy, yo. And so far I've had to retie mine once because I didn't do it right. So now I got it pretty far out with the weight at the bottom, fishing for some trout right now, some salmon eggs. So see what happens. I'm really in no rush. I'm just chilling here, relaxing, watching my pole. Beautiful day. So uh, guys, stay tuned. Sorry, my GoPro is having issues because I forgot my memory card. So I stole my GoPro memory card for this camera and my old the memory card's just from like a PSP it's just so old like it doesn't work so yeah no GoPro footage this trip sorry guys next time there's a nice little panorama of the lake got a couple kayakers this guy in this little dinghy Update for y'all. Okay, so I changed my rig again. Now I'm fishing for bluegill. These people over here are absolutely clapping it. I mean, these little kids, they have like, I don't know, they got seven fish or something. I mean, they're releasing them, so they're still out there. I'm not sure if I'm using the wrong worm. Like, maybe I should have got some, you know, live worms, live bait. I didn't really have time for that. Um, might not be using the right hook. So, I don't know, I just gotta stay tuned. But yeah, other people are definitely catch, catching some bluegills out here, so I don't know what the strat is. Here's my bobber way out here, as you can see. Not doing anything, just floating there. These ducks are absolutely going insane right now. That one has like purple feathers. Yeah, it has purple feathers. They're fighting like crazy. I have no idea what's going on. Oh my gosh. Nope. Poor girl. Poor girl is like, they're all fighting over her it looks like. Later. All right guys, made it back from the lake. Didn't really have any luck, so now we're about to heat up some lunch. We're gonna have some hot dogs on the grill and just some snacks, so it's gonna be a nice little afternoon. All right, got the biolite. Wow, the dog literally just flipped itself. We just had a round a second ago. Now I'm having an extra one. Just had some fantastic hot dogs. Had about three and some chips. And now I'm about to set up my hammock and just relax for a little bit. It's so nice, a little bit of a breeze coming through, but weather is like perfect.
such a nice hammock. All right, here's our dinner. Got some pasta, bunch of rotini, got some classico marinara, got some pesto, bread, salad. Here's my setup right here. Grab a piece of bread and I'll be feasting. Got the salad, pasta, bread. <laughs> Phenomenal. Day two. All right, we cleaned up camp. Check it out. Wish you got more footage, but hey, it's been fun. But the day's not over. We're getting breakfast, and we're gonna go fishing. So round two. <laughs> Hopefully, we catch something this time. This time, I got my good luck, friend. Yeah. What's up, Matt? This time, you're gonna catch four, and I'm not gonna catch shit. You'll catch one, and I'll yeah, catch exactly. four. I'll catch yep. One, you'll catch four. All right. Sounds Wait, good. Four. You could be like yeah. the little kid who. Um, who catch like, like 10. ten. Oh yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure. Well, we can get worms in town as yeah. like our backup. <laughs> And we could always put them in the fridge that we were just ready for like next weekend or some shit. Yeah. I think I have a bunch in my fridge, but they're probably all dead by now. I mean, Damn, rip. <laughs> it was for catfish season. Oh, okay. So, nice. Yeah, they're probably dead. All right, we made it to Big Bear. We had a fire breakfast. Oh my gosh, so much food. Literally hit a wall like I haven't in a while munch on everybody's food Matt and I here we got our gear yep. we just hit up the tackle shop got some worms and some last minute stuff and the dude said they just stopped so hoping we can get some trout here Hopefully. Sunday what is it like 1 30 like so two. two so we got a few hours here before sundown to try to get some fish we're all the way here yeah, might, might as well, as well. So, gotta stay tuned. All right, we're here at the water. Sorry for the wind noise. I got my pole out. I got um, a worm on one treble hook and a pow uh, thing of power bait on the other treble hook. Uh, that's what the guy at the store recommended. So now I'm just kind of playing the waiting game. Pole's totally bouncing around. Kind of going crazy, even though nothing's happening. So, hoping for a good fish. Matt's trying the lure out. It's so windy, had to put a rock on the chair. So. Yeah, just gonna hang out, try to stay warm here. Hope to catch a fish. Catch a fish. Gotta stay tuned. A few minutes later. I'm spinning like crazy. Should I just lay him on the dirt? Yeah, I got a fish here. It's by his tail. Oh no! Oh, there he goes. Yeah, take him and throw him okay, out. I just wanted to make sure he wasn't had he, have that hook on him still. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Bye bye. Ooh. Yeah, sorry about that fish, but hey, I thought the hook was still on his tail. Yeah. So I wanted to kind like of inspect it. him, and he was good. So I was able to grab him and throw him in. He was just kind of chilling there in the water for a sec. He did break my setup, so it should be here on the ground. I could probably retie it. Not a big deal, but hey, that was a good fish. He totally went after the worm and or the power bait. So let's keep getting it. I feel good. We missed it again, but... Wow, that's another nice one. Damn, dude. This is a nice one. Number two, baby. Yeah. Wow, this guy is pretty chunky. That's a nice one. Shit. Are you going to keep him or let him go? I'm going to keep him. All right, cool. There you bonk go. Bonk him. Oh. I'm not going to show it on the camera. OK. Well, I'll say because we're recording. Let's go! Dude, not show, I won't, I'll edit yeah, yeah. that part out, but woo, fish number two kept him. This one, uh, he still jumped off the hook, which I kind of like them to do, because honestly, like, you try to get your finger in there, like, you're gonna get your, you know, finger stuck in that treble hook, like, five times out of ten. It's like 50-50 shots, so. Hey, we got our second fish here. Uh, I got a nice little, you know, cooler to bring him back in, so I'll cook him up later, and you'll have to see that, so you gotta stay tuned. <laughs> 